Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material design. I am Annie from SmartHerd. In the last video, I had said you about the overview of the topics that we will be covering in this series. In this video, we will be learning about the touch feedback animation. As I have already said, the material theme provide us with some default animations. Touch feedback animation is one of them. This provides us with the ripple effect in our button. If we need to have this ripple effect in our other elements or the widgets in our application, we need to define it explicitly. So in this video, we will be learning about implementing this ripple effect in other views and how do we customize it. What basically touch feedback animation is? This is the animation which provides an instantaneous visual confirmation at the point of contact when the user interacts with the UI elements in our application. The ripple animation is one of them. The buttons are provided with the ripple animation by default, hence we don't need to define it. And in the other view, we need to enable it explicitly. So let's move to Android Studio and start implementing this ripple animation in our application. I have created the project material design animation and I have defined two activities. One is the main activity.java and the other is ripple activity.java. I have created two layout files. One is activity main.xml and the other is activity ripple.xml. First, let's discuss about the activity main.xml that we will be working in. In the preview panel, you can see this will be our first page of application. This button will take us to activity ripple.xml. This view, we will be learning about the shared elements. Then we will be learning about the explore transition, slide transition and fade transition. And each of this activity transition, we will be learning using the Java codes and the XML codes. So basically, let's focus on the ripple effect now. This is the button that I have defined for the ripple effect. On clicking this button, check ripple animation method will be executed. In my main activity.java, I have defined this method, check ripple animation. On clicking this button, a new activity will be started, which is ripple activity.class. And in ripple activity.java, I have created a dummy click method. This ripple activity.java will execute the layout file activity ripple.xml. Moving to activity ripple.xml, we have four text views here. Each of these text views will be demonstrating the ripple animation of their own kind. The first one will be having the ripple with border. Second one will be for ripple without border, custom ripple with border and the last one will be custom ripple without border. This is the basic setup that I have done for my application. Right now, let's run this project and see. Here we can see on clicking this button, we have certain ripple effect. I haven't defined any kind of animation for clicking of this button. Still it is showing this ripple effect. This is the text view which I have defined here. On clicking this text view, we have no effect. Now let's move to Android Studio again and start defining this ripple effect in our text views. The attribute that is used to define the ripple effect in any other views is the background attribute. So this selectable item background is the attribute that is used to define the ripple effect in the views. Now, as I had said, we have two kinds of ripple effect. One is the bordered ripple and the other is the ripple without border. Now, this background attribute of selectable item background will provide the ripple with border. That is, it will be limited to our view only. The next we will be implementing is ripple without border. The same attribute that is the background attribute is used to set the ripple in the text view. But now for the ripple without border, we need to change this attribute value. The background will be set to selectable item background borderless. This will give us the ripple effect without the border. 
which implies that our ripple will be extended throughout the screen in our Android application. So it's easy setting the ripple effect in any of the view just by adding this background attributes into the view. Now let us run our application and see how this default ripple with and without border works. This is our application up and running. On clicking this ripple effect button, we move to rippleactivity.java which implements activity ripple.xml. On clicking this text view, we can see our ripple effect has been implemented in this text view. On clicking ripple without border, we can see that the ripple extends beyond the view. On clicking ripple with border, we can see the ripple being confined to the edges of the text view. But here it moves beyond the edge of the text view. On clicking custom ripple with border, still don't have any ripple effect. Now let's again move to our XML file and implement custom ripple with border and without border. For defining custom ripple with border and custom ripple without border, I have defined two layout files in drawable v21 folder in my resource folder. One file is custom ripple border.xml and the other is custom ripple borderless.xml. Let's open it up and let's have a brief explanation on this. In custom ripple border.xml, I have defined the ripple tag. Inside the ripple tag, I have defined the schema. Then the color for the ripple, which I want to appear for the ripple effect. The next important thing, which is to be taken care of while defining custom ripple border.xml is the mask. By defining this mask, I have made this ripple effect which we will be setting as the background of the text view to have the border. That is, this custom ripple will be confined to the edges of the text view. Next, in the borderless ripple, I don't have any mask. So, this will be the ripple without the border. The only difference here between the borderless ripple and the border ripple is the item with the mask. Moving to activity ripple.xml, now let us define the background for custom ripple with border and without border text view and see what happens. For this text view with custom ripple with border, I will be defining the background that I have defined in the drawable v21 folder. So let's define the background for this text view. Next for custom ripple without border, Let's do the same and change the background layout to borderless.xml. Here we go. Now let us run our application and see what happens. Here is my app up and running. On clicking this ripple effect, we move to activity ripple.xml. We had implemented the custom ripple with border. On clicking on this, we can see the color which we had set is there for the ripple. This is the bounded ripple and this is the ripple without the border. In this ripple, the background that we had set has the mask which limits the ripple to the view of the text view. And here the ripple is without the mask and hence it extends beyond the edges of the text view. So here it was the touch feedback animation that the material theme has provided us with. Now, if we want to customize this default ripple color, we can move to styles.xml of the values folder and define the attribute of color control highlight. Now, this is the color control highlight I have provided for the ripple effect. Now, let us run our application and see what changes it has brought. I have explained about this color control highlight in my previous videos. If you want to know more about it, you can refer to it in the themes and colors playlist. Now let us run our application and see. Here is our application up and running. Now let's click the button and see what this color control highlight has done to it. On clicking this button, we can see this red color appearing in the ripple effect. 
so we have changed the color of the ripple effect from the default gray to our customized one this color has also changed because this was the default ripple effect that we had provided to the text view here the custom ripple with border has the color which we had given hence the color control highlight has changed the color of this ripple effect on clicking each of the button we can see this color is provided for the ripple effect because this buttons have this effect by default that's all for this video guys in the next video we will be learning about the activity transitions in detail if you like the video do share and leave your comment below the video subscribe to our channel and help us grow i also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description you can go there and refer to it that's all for this video for further videos stay tuned keep smiling and have a good day